Good morning. Welcome back to BYT. Well, I don't know if you can hear it, but she's raining. I'm getting ready to get up on the bus, take a look at those windows, see how the caulking worked. We will see in a bit. I got a little moment of aha going on. There is a drip coming from the roof. Right back. By the one I didn't think was leaking. There's the beam. There's the pillar. Second seam in the back. And there's, there's water coming out right down here on the back side of this wall. Everything on this side, all the water is going down into the drain. Everything else looks pretty good. The drain's working good. It's all running down, funneling out. Both sides. But even over here, you'll see the water lines coming down from this light. Water trail right there. So, yep, that's going to be after all these rains are over. I'm going to have to sand, seal, and paint the roof. But, I mean, the water is less. I mean, it's a little damp. A little bit more there. Oops. You know, you can see it down there. But, I do have water when I push on here. This area, this edge, is wet. So. I don't see any water down inside. Looking at my windows. A little damp in the corners. Like I said, I haven't sealed the glass yet. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get this to focus. I'm, like I said, I'm going to have to come through. Oh, yeah, see the water? See the water? So. The next is to seal the, seal the glass. You know, I'll get in here with a toothbrush and. I clean all these edges up, all these windows. You know, start with the bottoms. The bottom windows, get them all sealed up. So yes, that is a possibility. I mean, it's, it's coming inside, so... Probability, more like. You know... The back back here seems to be doing good. I am getting a little rain, obviously. Coming in the side. It's getting on this channel here. There's a little drip right here, but it's not. Well, maybe that is from the inside. No, it's another one. Has to do it. Oh, yeah, there's some water coming in there. Right there, running right down the back side of that channel. From where? Kind of dry back there. Dry. So yeah, I think uh, you know that's the very possibility that the water is getting on the back side of this channel here and running down. So, like I said, sealing up the roof is going to be. Um, yeah, it's all dry on that side. Pretty crucial. Yeah. yeah, I am getting a little bit of water up in here from it hitting back here. So that can be channeling it down past my wall, too. But as this far as this guy goes, it's actually behind... And wet, so 
So next step I am going to take will be sand and paint the roof. Get it sealed completely. And seal these bottom windows. Because the top windows overhang. So if water gets in here and in here, well guess what? It's just going to drip back outside. So these parts and these parts, you see I got, I got water down here building up on that corner and it is running down it's it's coming out and it's running down here there it is right there running down um so you know even though i am going to seal the top get all these windows sealed down here and across so you know wash clean the windows clean the tracks seal them all and then seal and paint the roof and I do have these plates made to go on the side and I'm going to I'll, I'm going to run a bead of sealant along top bottom sides of these two panels that are going to cover this So that won't be an issue. I mean, you can see, like, you know, the water is just trailing down here just a little bit. And it could be filling this channel and running it down. But more than likely, it's, a, it's that piece on the back side that's causing it. But it's a win. It's a lot less than it was. And like I said, everything else seems to be working well get all this stuff all the dampness in here stopped I haven't even done nothing to this side yet and the dampness is actually less on this side but you know direction rain the direction of the rain is gonna make a big difference you can see these windows are nowhere near as wet as those windows so direction of the rain but it still comes into that same point that I have to get it all sealed up. But if it's going to work on this side of the bus, then it will work on this side. See the little, the little drip still there from up here. But I can see the wet spot here. I think it's just kind of transversing because the angle of the bus and kind of coming out there. Um, up here, you got some friends trying to make habitat. Bird's nest. They were in the they were in the uh, air conditioner unit. Now they're trying to build a nest up there. But I did find. Over here, that seam up there is wet and leaking down. But also, so is this area here. So this whole this whole ridge cap is probably leaking. Um, I don't see any moisture in here besides what's up there. So. That's my next uh, big to do. So I don't know what I'm going to get into today. I'm still waiting on my pieces and components to show up for the dashboard. I'm using a couple used ones, airline fittings. I mean, I could mark these out, take them to the drill press, drill their holes. Do another cleanup in here, vacuum, wipe things down. Uh, rain's supposed to stop later, so it's not going to dry out by any means, but it may uh, allow me to get out here. Maybe maybe cut the holes in the bumpers today, or in the bumper today for the LEDs. That would always be nice. Functionality, safety, gotta get her done. 
Talk to you in a bit. Well, here's what I got myself into today. Safety chains. Trim that out. Safety chain. Square that off. Insert that in place. Fit it up to the bumper. Mark the center hole here. And to the center hole up there. And then the other two holes should be over here somewhere. Right in these areas. So I should have my center hole up here. Another hole here. Another hole over here. And then the hitch fitted and welded in place here. And then whatever for whatever bracing for underneath. So with it being all wet and everything. This is what I got myself into. I'm about to take a break. Come back out. Trim this out. See you in a bit. Alright, well here's progress so far. I gotta I still gotta straighten these up. Smooth them out. I got the tool over there on the air compressor. And uh I've already started to dremel them out a little bit. But so far, I'm just gonna I'm gonna clamp it to the bumper. And I'm gonna put the hitch in place, kind of you know mark it a little bit because all that powder coating and shit that's on there is gonna be able to be ground off. So when I weld this solid, there's no paint in the way. So that's my next step is, to, and then I gotta reach in from behind and mark the back of this so I can drill more holes. You know I can drill those other three mounting holes for this plate wherever they're going to be. Like I said, you know, I'm going to make sure this sucker's center. I make sure it's on right. Got to have my trailers tracking properly. So, see you in a bit. I kind of got it in place with one clamp on it. So, I'm going to put another clamp on the other side over there. And then I'm going to put the tube the hitch through there and see how she's looking so that's step by step right there and I'm sure it's gonna have to go up because the hitch is almost gonna be flush with the bumper and then that plate will be you know up and then the holes drilled in the back so she meant well there it is it's temporarily in place a couple clamps you know, it can still be moved side to side. You know, it's still got play in it. But when it's all in place, you know, I still, you know, up and down, underneath, you know, that hole, it's all got to be even, symmetrical, and in the center. So, and I get under here, I got to go from here to frame, from here to frame, and make sure everything's centered. And I got a big piece of 3 8 angle iron, or, uh, you see, it might be 3 16 But for any of you wondering, this is 7 16 flat stock. And after it's bolted in place, it will be welded solid to the bumper. This will be welded solid. Then my 7 prong trailer hit or wire plug in will go over here. Which I still have to install a trailer brake up front, uh, a digital one. Finding them nowadays where they're not. Raping you on the prices is pretty hard So Temperatures dropping on us uh, And that's as far as I'm gonna get today So I will see you on the closing video in a bit All right, that's it for me today. My toes are cold temperatures dropping Had enough I drilled 22 holes 22 half inch holes in that plate to get it cut out to where it currently is um, so I'm going to take a break. Whatever you're doing out there, you be safe. You have yourselves a great day. If you like today's content, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And we will see you tomorrow.